So we finally got our elevator shaft, but we've got it finally dug in and we got it poured and squared up. And so we were able to get our floor pretty much framed, start framing exterior walls up on, on the second story. So now we've got our pea gravel in here. We're ready for our concrete floor. So as soon as we can get materials. So basically we're just doing as much framing as we can and still leaving it accessible for the concrete guy to be able to finish the floor. So that's why we have these big holes in the exterior walls. So he can start at that in the wall and pour his concrete coming out this way and being able to work his way outside. So basically this, this elevator shaft here, like a little concrete bunker, that's what they call a whale. That's where all your jack for the elevator, the hydraulic motor, a sump pump, all that goes in this in this well and we'll have a little ladder that the a service technician could get down in there. Make sure this thing is good and plumb and square. It's gonna be another 20, 30 feet up in the air. Pretty well, we're pretty happy with it. Cameron's putting in a post and beams here. Open up your outside walls finally. We finally we had to bite the bullet sooner or later and start tearing off some exterior walls. So We're running against the little problems with getting inspections and concrete and materials because of the coronavirus. But we're plugging along, we're doing what we can and trying to keep the project moving ahead.